So Olympus has fallen. It is an extremely violent movie with a very high body count. And I, I should say that you play the hero in this mm -hmm. film mm -hmm. and good does prevail over evil in the end. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, we've become accustomed to so many mass shootings in the United States in places that were once thought to be safe, schools, churches, movie theaters. So when do you think it becomes Hollywood's responsibility to say we need to re-examine the type of movies we're putting out there? You know, it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's a tough question. Um, and, you know, if, I, I mean, I can speak from this movie's point of view. Um, for instance, Pierce Morgan, who's one of the biggest uh, proponents of gun control. Right. I went on his show and he said, this is a violent movie mm -hmm. and there's a lot of guns and there's a lot of shootings. And he said, and I absolutely loved it <laughs> because it's about the good guys fighting the bad guys. I mean, if it's done, I think, in a way which is relevant to a situation, you know, this is set in a very realistic climate where the, the global threat on terrorism is, is a problem, you know, and we live in a very, um, there's a fragility to our freedom. And we're examining the, po the examining the possibility of, by the way, something that happened not so long ago, very similarly, right. and happens on a daily basis around the world. We are kind of taking that idea and saying, what if, you know, so it's not, it's it's not necessarily that this is fun, gratuitous violence. Right. This is saying, you know, this is a, a interest of in national security, of of terrorism, of of what what these institutions mean to us as a nation. And I think that in that context, then that then it can be justified because it's one, it's a provocative idea, and if anything, I think people come out of it totally patriotic and inspired. Because you say it's a violent movie, there's a lot of violence in it. That's right. just the nature of what it is. But I got to tell you that my experience has been enough. I've been to four different screenings now. Women love this movie as much as as much as guys do because it's touching on issues. They're not necessarily even about the violence, but they're touching on issues that are so deep in people's psyche. Because what do what does the White House mean? To a man or a woman, what does the president mean? What do those values mean? What does an attack on our society mean? It means the same thing to men and women, right. and, um, and and that's why you know at the end when this is really a movie about about heroism and the heroism of everyday people and, right. and how, if anything, these tragedies make make heroes out of everybody. Right. Um, well, you bring up a good point, which is interesting because I had a very hard time watching when the Washington Monument fell. It was done in such a realistic way that immediately my mind went straight to the Twin Towers in the same way that they fell. So I'm wondering, you know, is there some other way that the dramatic impact could have been made um, without invoking images that are still so fresh in the American psyche? Because I don't know if that'll ever get easy to see that. Um, what do you think? Well, I, I, everybody has a different reaction to that. I mean, this is something that, that, that happened. They made movies about it very right. shortly after, right. about the actual story. Right. Should they not have made that movie? Should they not have made the movie, um, you know, about the killing of bin Laden? Should mm -hmm. they, you know, you make movies about things that happen in our society. That's how we define ourselves and understand ourselves. And if that's too much for people, then they don't go to see it. But I gotta say, I've watched this movie in Washington with mm -hmm. government officials. People who live in the city government. Yeah, what did they say about they that? They loved it. Really? I tell you, the response was, and I'm not ecstatic. You know, um, they, it, we had Secret Service, ambassadors, um, just uh, political journalists, um, and it got the most massive round of applause. And every interview I did, and I did about 50 interviews in, mm -hmm. at least in Washington, there wasn't one negative, negative interview. So I think... If that if those images are going to touch on something and bring you know right. if you're reminded of it for 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 a good reason, you know because we should be reminded, we should be reminded right. that that by the way I say this about heroism, it, it, it because the fact that this doesn't happen every day is right. down to the work that is done that we don't see, and that's what this movie's about. Like after nine eleven, right. that made heroes out of everybody. You see how you know you know how regular people were willing to give everything to help. Uh, you know, uh, heroes of the police force, the firemen, and I think that's what what this movie's about. It to me, if anything, it reminds us that no matter what they throw at us, you know, you know, and I say me, I'm a Scotsman, but what they throw at America, which is essentially an attack on the rest of the free world, right? Of course. You know that 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 we will only unite 
and come back together stronger. And I think there's a very humble message in the movie as well. I mean, it doesn't, you, you know, it is about payback. Right. But at the same time, I think the message at the end, you know, that's, you have goosebumps when, because it's, it, there's a, there's a really kind of beautiful meaning to it about a country that is rebuilding in, in, the, in, the, in the wake of a disaster, um, but, but doing it with what this country was built on, integrity, humility, and honor. Were you at all worried that this film could add fuel to a fire that seems to be raging right now, and, and kind of worried what the North Koreans might think um, should they see this film? Did that cross your mind? No. Yes. That's a lie. Yes, it did. <laughs> but I don't see it as, look, this, at the end of the day, is a mixture of Hollywood entertainment that makes you think, that is provocative. Um, I don't think, um, I think that the North Koreans would see it as that. The fact is, we're not talking about the North Koreans. This could be an extremist group from Africa. Right. It's an individual, it's an individual masterminding a, a, an extremist militia, you know, commandos, uh, you know, radicals, whatever you want to call them. They could have been from Iran. They could have been from Iraq. They could have been from somewhere in Africa. They could have been from, from pretty much anywhere. If you actually examine what's going on with North Korea in our movie, and this is what's fascinating, is the fallout. Who are all the international players? What are the Russians saying? What are the Chinese saying? What, what, are, the, what are the French saying, the Brits? Um, North Korea in this movie is more of a, is more of a black hole. We don't right. really know what they're doing, which is, to be honest, what always happens. We're not making them. They're only maneuvering the way they would be expected to maneuver. And to be honest, so is everybody else. We, we, it's not like we go into such depth about their, their politics, but, it's, but, but we're examining a very real, relevant political climate. Um, and, and, and to me, it just makes the movie all that more fascinating and gripping. But I don't think that there's anything gratuitous in there. Right. But I do think it's weird. It's life imitating art, for sure. Right. We have talked about that. And yeah. it's um, and it's weird that Dennis Rodman just went over there to, yeah. to, you know, it's like, what's going on? I know, I know. I now wish that we'd put, put a sportsman in our movie and <laughs> say, you know, you know, maybe in the movie they'd even said, don't worry, Dennis Rodman's Dennis going is over. on it. He's going to talk to the Koreans. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. So on a lighter note, mom and dad are in town. Yeah. They're coming to the premiere tonight. Your mom hasn't seen the film yet? No. No. But you're telling no. me she loves violent movies. No, I'm joking. No, no. She, she doesn't. I don't she, know if she uh, might love violent movies. No, no, so. she, she, she doesn't. But then again, you know, for instance, when I, when I was in Washington, I sat next to two women. And I thought, oh, this was a bad idea because they were like, oh, oh, oh. And then they're clapping and applauding, and at the end, I, they turn and say, "Oh my God, that was amazing!" Because it, it because well, if the I was sitting next to you in a movie, I would think that's pretty no, amazing. No, no, too. no, no. <laughs> but I mean, I the the the, the response from women has been right. as strong as men. I've been punched by women going, "Oh, that was," because it's it's the themes are so overpowering that that it you take from it what you want. You can withstand the violence because it's set, it's done in truth. It's right. done as part of this, and then. Uh, you know, it's as much about a guy trying to save a kid, you know, right. it really, the, the, one of the best things about this movie, you know, we have Melissa Leo, we have right. Angela Bassett, they're in, uh, incredible performances playing two tenacious, heroic female characters right. that I think say a lot for, for, for women as well. And it's a very emotional experience, yeah. you know. My favorite I mean, part was seeing you interact with the little boy. That, to me, we could have a whole movie about that. That's no, what I think should be your next that's one. Why that's why I say that, that you know, for instance, my mom, I'm sure, you know, at that part, she'd be like, oh, my God. But <laughs> at the same time, I know she'll love it because, yeah. you know, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful movie. Right, and Dad, too. He loves those oh, yeah. kinds he, of things, He loves right? kick-ass anyway. He's yeah. going to be like, no, do romantic comedies from here. <laughs> That's all we want to see, our Gerard in, right? Yeah, no, he says, if I see you in another romantic comedy, I'm going to punch you in the face. No, he didn't joke. No, no I think he's thinking that, but he didn't say I would have believed that. I would have been like, okay, That's why not? That's because I'm a good actor. That you're a very good actor. Yeah. Well, you're a very good interviewer, interviewee, too. So thank you. I appreciate it. And, and thank you for joining us today. All right. Appreciate it, Gerard. Thanks a lot.